2004. I wish you didn't have to go. I'll be back soon enough. Three weeks isn't soon enough, it's three weeks. 21 whole days. I don't think I can last 21 days without seeing you. We can talk on the phone. For five minutes. I don't want to go. Oh, I know. I'll just miss you. I'll tell you that. That I'll miss you. I think you might have mentioned it. Oh, I could say it again. Go on then. I'll miss you, Dan. So much. <laughs> can I tell you something? I love you. What? I love you. Like, I'm in love with you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Look, when I get back, why don't we go somewhere? Anywhere you want. Let's just disappear for a long weekend. Didn't you say you wanted to go to Iceland? Let me take you. Oh, well, what if my freezer's already full? <laughs> <laughs> One part of the job, all that free time. Mm, don't sulk, Kate. I'm not sulking. I know it's not ideal for me to be away for three weeks at a time, but the money is good. And as long as there's oil, there will always be a job. Some of my mates, the ones who have nine to fives, they're still doing the half as well as me. They can't even afford to move out of their parents' houses. But they're always there for their girlfriends. They're always at the end of the phone when they need them, not in the middle of the fucking ocean. It's just a job. I know. It won't be forever. Will it? One day, you can be more onshore, more office-based. Me? Probably. Yes. Yes. Um, look, let's just look forward to the fun that we can have when I'm back. Okay? Okay. And, don't you say that absence makes the heart grow fonder? That gives you three weeks to sit here and grow fonder of me. If that's even possible. Is it? Do you think it is? No, I think it's fit to burst already. Look, you better go before I actually burst. I'll call you as soon as I can. Two thousand and six. Well, you have to take your wedding ring off when you when you're working. Shouldn't think so. Oh, good. I am never going to take mine off. <clears throat> ever. Not even when you're handling raw meat? When do I ever handle raw meat? <laughs> Look, I've got you again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it. It's a late wedding present. I have paid for cookery lessons for you and your mum at that cooking place in town. Oh, Tom, thank you. So, when I get back, I expect my dinner waiting for me. No, oh, well, I could have it waiting for you every night okay. if you... No, no, no. Not now, just, I have to go in five minutes. Well, I was just saying. Well, I know what you're going to say, so you don't need to. Well, I. Kate. Love you. Nice save. <laughs> and we'll miss you so much, and I wish that you didn't have to go, and that you would stay here all the time, and I'd wake up and look at those beautiful little face every morning. Okay, I've got it out of the system now. <laughs> look, you don't need to say it every single time I go away. No, but I, I think it, because... Every time you go... No, what do you want um, me to do? Do you want, should I just quit? Jack it all in. You'd have to get rid of the Range Rover, and you can forget the Aga and the new house, but you can forget the new house. I'd trade all of them in for you. For you to be here every night with me. I, I'd work three jobs and wash cars at the weekend just to keep us in tin beans if you'd let me. So do I have to feel guilty about it for the rest of my life? Is that it? I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. I just, I just want you to know how much I love you. By making me feel guilty. Sometimes it just feels like we're defined by our goodbyes. Every time I fall that little bit more in love with you, you have to go. You can't be angry at me for that, for feeling like that. Can you? It's just a job. It pays the bills. Two thousand and eight. Can you just take her away just for a minute? I'm trying to pack. Oh, of course you. It must be so hard trying to think what pants to pack for your three week getaway. Getaway? It really is. That what you think? You think I go away on some sort of holiday? 
You get to sleep at least. Look, it's just colic. It will pass. Will it? Will it just pass? Should I just get over it? Should I just shut up and get out of your way too? That's not what I meant. Look, can you not get your mum round for a while so that you can get a break? I don't want my mum. Bethany doesn't want to be raised by my mum. She wants you. She wants her dad. For fuck's sake, Kate. I'm tired too. Can I just have a minute? Please. When do I ever get a minute? When do I ever get any time to myself? In three weeks? Next month? I don't believe in a child. Well, you can't just throw money at every problem. That's not always the answer, Dan. This isn't about money. This is about you. You said it wouldn't be forever. Going offshore, remember? Kate! I can't do this myself. I can't raise a child by myself. There isn't any offshore jobs. There isn't any onshore jobs. I'm lucky I still have a job. The industry isn't what it used to be. Neither are we. Are you saying that you want me to choose? Is that what you're saying? There must be other jobs. That wouldn't cover half the mortgage on this place. Why does it always come back to money? Is that all you care about? What about us, your family? Aren't we more important than money? I do it for you. Every single man out there on those rigs does it for their families for a better life. I just want both of you to have the best. We don't want the best. We just want you here. Keeping us safe. I'm keeping us secure. I can't cope on my own, Dan. <coughs> I'll call your mum. Two thousand and thirteen. Hello? Dan? It's eleven thirty. It's a bit late to be calling now. Oh, you know, they love their presents, yeah. Oh, no, Beth, oh, she was just so excited with her bike. And my dad took her out into the garden, and she got the hang of it pretty quickly. Oh, I was so proud, and so was she. <laughs> oh, she had the biggest smile for the rest of the day. She can't wait to show you when you get back. Oh, yeah, Charlie, yeah, he liked his presents too, but I think maybe next year you might understand Christmas <coughs> a bit better. <laughs> well, at least you'll be here next year. You'd be here to see them. The, the kids would love that. Oh, they, they spoke about you all day. Was, well, no, just the usual stuff. Like, why, why isn't Daddy here, you know? Well, I, I, I'm just saying. Well, I, no, I'm, I'm just telling you what they said. Oh, oh look, that's not fair. Dan! Dan! Hello? Today. of ever getting a desk job. I never even looked. What? Uh, it's not what I wanted to do. I mean, I actually quite enjoy being in the middle of the sea sometimes. Are you drunk? No. What? Why did you always tell me you hate going away? No, I, I do hate going away. I, I hate leaving you and the kids. I hate the distance and not being able to be here for things. Important things. When I think about what I'm missing when I'm offshore, I, I can't help but feel guilty and know that I've let you all down, but I knew that when I came back, we can make up for it and be a family. <coughs> That's the only thought that gets me through sometimes. I don't know what you're trying to say, Dan. I love you. I love you and I love the kids, but I love my job too. And I could never choose. I didn't want to choose. I don't want to choose. So your job is more important than us. Isn't that what I've always said? 
It's the only thing that I'm actually any good at. And I really am good at it. I'm quite proud of the fact that I'm good at it. Why shouldn't I be able to have both? To be good at something and provide for my family. Even if it means that there will be a bit of distance between us. You should have told me. You should have been honest from the start. Would you have still wanted to be with me? No. Probably not. That's why I lied. I wanted it all, you and my career. I thought I could have both. Well, I had neither. I gave up everything for our family, my career, my social life. I love you. I love you so much. Let's talk about this in the morning. Can we do something tomorrow, just the two of us? Dan, go home. So where is Loverboy tonight? Don't call him that. I don't want him staying here. He doesn't. Because this is my house. I bought this house. It's our house. We bought it. This is it all for you? I know. I shouldn't have lied. No. What if I live now? Uh, you know, for a job on shore. I could help with the kids more and we could do things at the weekend. Dan, it's late. Would things have been different if I'd been here all the time? I, I don't know. I could have stopped you from meeting him. I could have stopped you from falling for him. I could have loved you better. It's not that simple. You know, it's not. Sometimes love doesn't last. If you were here all the time, we may not have even lasted a year. You just, you never know. I just know that things weren't working. We were both unhappy. I was lonely. Things weren't meant to turn out like this. They just did. It doesn't matter where you were or how much you earned. If the love is not there, then it's, it's just not. You have to stop this time. You have to move on. We had our time, we had our love and made two beautiful children. But people change. Love changes and that's just life. And I am not going to apologise for that. I should never have lied. I'm glad you did. Just wish you hadn't kept it up.